Oh, what's up, babes? It's Carlisa Victoria. I am back with another video. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome to my channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So look, I have my phone charging to my laptop that's in my purse because I have it on the fast charger. So I just wanted to show you guys. Get over here, Bricks, real quickly. Um, it's about to be two o'clock. I have put on some gym clothes. Come here, Bricks. I've put on some gym clothes, but I definitely wanted to show you guys my weigh in this morning because I did lose another like pound today. So I weighed in at 175.4 pounds this morning. And if you know, you know, like uh, I keep talking about it in all of my videos, but I'm trying to zoom in just in case I don't. I think you can kind of see it. The phone keeps flipping, but hold on. Let me see if I can focus it real quick on the scale. You can see from the side it is um, one one. 75.4 um like i said i keep trying to turn the phone but it's really not working let me zoom in like that and then do it 175.4 it's probably backwards to y'all but 175.4 pounds this week i started off at 179 pounds so i've been saying this repetitively in my videos my edges look a mess i'm about to do them like just some temporary edges real quick so i can go to the gym like, they don't even have to really be done like that. But I don't want to be going to the gym looking a mess, like, on the edges. So I'm at least, like, lay them down a little bit. Yesterday, I target. Oh, let me go back to the thought that I had, that I was actually saying. I'm having to lean down because of, let me see if I can prop y'all up off of one more thing. Because I have y'all sitting on a salad bowl, a coffee mug, and now I'm going to do, like, a skincare mask. Period. Now we're at eye level. I don't have to feel like I'm stooping down so low just to talk to y'all. Um, so basically, I um, started out at 179 this week. I've been saying it in multiple videos. I went back to eating meat on a temporary basis just to see what would it do for my body. If it feels like this is a repetitive thing for me, then skip past the next two minutes of hearing me say this because I know I've said it in multiple videos, but I realize that a lot of people don't watch all of my videos and some people are new for the first time. So I like to repeat key information so you can kind of jump in and catch up with my journey. But I had been eating vegan for like five, six years and just wanted to, when I, and don't you play with my shoes, Briggs, because you're going to go get in a crate. I um, initially became vegan um, because went plant-based life because I was getting sick off of dairy and everything else that I was eating. So I just cold turkey was like, I'm over it. Init initially, I went from like 130s, when, you know, like the 130s, 140s crept up to 150, 160, 170. Then I hit a whopping 180. I had never been that big. But this is when I transitioned into becoming vegan. I gained 50 plus pounds. Bricks. Cut it out. Okay, let me go. Let me go. Let me go put somebody in a crate. No. Uh-uh. So eventually I was just like, how did I gain 50 pounds and I changed my lifestyle for the better? Um, excuse me, Briggs. Cut it out. I went from 130s, you know, and now I'm 180. How do I gain 50 pounds? And it's like when you're first starting out vegan, especially if you're if you're embarking upon this journey yourself, you're trying to figure out, okay, what can I eat to make me full? What can I eat to make me satisfied? What can I eat to also be healthy for me? And naturally, you're striving to figure that out, but you find yourself eating more potatoes. You're having one too many smoothies with meals and calorie intake is going up and you're in a caloric surplus instead of a balanced, you know, or in a balance or a caloric de um, deficit. And I gained weight, I gained 50 plus pounds. So then when I realized that, okay, my sleeping is off, my food intake is not even that much. I'm going to the gym, but my weight is going up. What's going on? I decided to just get back in balance. And the same thing that I'm telling you that, that I'm about to be doing now and have started doing a few days ago is the same thing that I did then. So now I just recently reached like 179 pounds. I haven't seen 180, but I've seen 179. And I believe that it has to do with the fact that I've been drinking a lot lately. I've been out to eat almost every day and I have not been sleeping well at all. I've been highly stressed. I 
have you know could make better choices for what i'm eating i'm eating at random times like there's no routine to what i've been doing lately and then i was just like when i felt that 179 that 177 179 i said baby i can't do this it's something about just being way too heavy than what you are used to that just does not feel right for me so me being this big 179 big when i say big i'm talking about big to me i'm not talking about if you're 179 you're big i'm saying me we all have a weight that we consider to be not our norm big so for me it's just like i'm tired of him like that so the other day briggs two days ago i weighed it at 179.6 or 0.4 then I said, okay, I'm about to get back in the gym. I'm about to do OMAD, which is one meal a day, which I was doing this in the past as well. Sometimes to just, you know, make my body think I'm doing something differently. And I would be like, okay, I'm about to do OMAD one meal a day. So today I haven't eaten anything. Um, today I just was not having a really, like yesterday and today, I just feel like I've had a few rough patches and my appetite hasn't been there, so I haven't been eating. Um, the way that I need to so it's kind of forced me into an OMAD situation I made some um, kimchi noodles yesterday ate a couple bites and was like I don't want this so I didn't really eat yesterday and then last night after I came back from the gym I ended up making a smoothie bowl which is what I'm gonna have tonight um, where it was a dairy free uh, non-dairy yogurt and it was blueberries strawberries protein oats and peanut butter so i was getting all my macros in a bowl i'm gonna have that again tonight so now that i'm going to the gym right now i just made myself oops still spilling i just made myself some water if you bring your own drinks to the gym that saves you from having to buy drinks at the gym there's days where i have to buy drinks at the gym because i left my drink but if we're in a like boss up financial savings type of era of getting and being our best selves then you're going to want to save your money you're going to want to save your coins. So bring your drinks from home. So then I'm drinking right now. I've showed you guys this quite a few times. Um, this cacao um, drink that's a protein with vanilla bean. So it's 190 calories in this entire container. I have poured about half of it um, into this... Um, Cup. So it's just about 95, less than 100 calories. And then I also have some creme brulee that I threw in there with a little bit of barista edition oat milk. So the creme brulee has 25 calories per serving, which is about a tablespoon. Um, so all in all, I probably have about 100, no more than 120 calories in this one drink, which I'm probably going to burn it off in the gym. This is my pre-workout. This is protein in here. It's got protein, it's got the cacao, it has vanilla, and it has the creme brulee. And then I have my water. So I have about 115, 120, let's say 110 calories. Let's say 110. Um, mm, let's say 120, 115, 115. I have 115 calories in here. I have my water, and then I haven't eaten. So. It is 150. So, depending on how the rest of my evening goes, will depend on if I eat later. So, I'm not sure if I'm gonna shoot full today because you know that's like one of my stress reliefs. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. I might do it. Part of me don't want to be out. I don't feel like it. But the other part of me is just like I do want to be out so that I can just kind of lift myself from what I'm feeling. But I don't know. But the point that I'm trying to make about that is if I do end up out tonight, I'm going to end up eating a salad for dinner. I'm going to eat a big salad while I'm out. And I normally drink about a gallon of water while I'm there. So we'll have a salad and water if I go. If not, I'm likely to just be having my... Um, I need to take this trash out. If not, I'm likely to just have my um, protein bowl when I get back, which there's not a lot of calories in that either because it's healthy. But yeah, so I'll probably be having that. I'm striving to stay away from bread. I'm striving like too much bread. I'm striving to stay away from um, too many sugary beverages. Like obviously protein stuff is protein stuff, but I haven't had any coffee today, which is like, hmm. 
So I haven't had any coffee today. But if I can stay away from like cooking stuff in oil so much and eating out as much as I've been lately, I have a dinner tomorrow and that's just because it was already on the calendar. But if I can stay away from like that, cause this week has been that type of week. And last week and the weeks before I had, my friend came in town, my sister, we've been doing, we just been doing something since my birthday back in February. Really, Bricks, please lay down. Since the beginning of the year until now, I've just been on go, on go, on go. So weighing in at 175.4 pounds this morning gives me hope because if you were looking at yesterday's vlog, which I posted, did I post it yesterday or today? I think I posted it this morning from yesterday's vlog. And I was like, if I can weigh in at about 100 and, what did I say? Some 173 to 174 by Sunday, that would be really good. Cause that would mean I'll be five pounds down. So if I'm weighing in at 175.4 this morning, can you imagine what I'm gonna be weighing in by Sunday? Cause today is Wednesday. So that's four more days until, you know, so I need to take this trash out. I see a gnat. I have bananas this week. Let me just make sure. Okay. I'm gonna spray some um, when I put him up. Cause if I spray it now, he gonna come. I'm gonna spray like some Lysol or something on this trash bag so it doesn't generate any gnats from the fruit in there that has to go to the trash. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm like, if I'm 175.4 today and I keep this up going to the gym and eating right then yeah by sunday we'll be 174 173 which is really good because to jump from 179 to 175 in the matter of two to three days that means that i was really like needing to detox my belly so crazy i don't know if i'm getting if my skin is just dry or if i'm getting like a sunburn because i had on a crop top yesterday and the day before like a sports bra set and my belly is a little dry right here and my arm was feeling the same way almost like um when you start getting like your skin starts peeling or you get sunburn or whatever like the peeling that's what my arm feels like like it's about to peel but anyway um yeah so i'm just like if i if i can pull this off and be 175.4 two days later and like i said detoxifying i've been detoxifying my body like yesterday all i had was coffee and i tried to eat the noodles i told you and then a smoothie bowl and water that's all i had that day really and i had a little bit of my power rate. that was it and then i went to the gym so now i'm about to go to the gym it's about to be two o'clock it's 155 it's about to be two o'clock so hopefully i can go get a good workout and by the time i get that workout and i can head back home come back get some things done traffic will be up traffic will die down and then I'll determine based on how much work I'm able to get done today, if I want to go and free my mind later, or if I want to just stay home and just zen out. And I don't know. But to make a long story short, I need to put this back on the charger. I've already showed y'all the weight. I've already showed y'all the weight, so. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, I already showed y'all my weight, so let's put this bad boy back on the charger. Um, I need to do these edges, but like I said, yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all now like 14 minutes, which is real good because I'm probably not going to take my camera in the gym. I just normally don't. I've had times I've done that. But I think for now, I'm just going to take my phone. It's easier, so I don't have to carry as much to take my phone in. Maybe show you a little bit of me in the gym workout. I'm going to stay away from the weights for a little bit. Because one thing I will say is, when I went back in the gym last week, I got I went and I weight lifted like twice in the week. And I felt like my weight was going up. Now, granted, I could have been building muscle. But I feel like I need to focus on the shedding the fat first. So I need to cut then bulk. So, obviously, 175. Who shall? Just to get to 135, it's a 40 pound loss that I need to, to get. It's possible, all things are possible with, with God. 
45 pounds to 50 pounds will have me 125, 130, which is ideal. Um, I don't want to be skinny, but I want to be back feeling how I used to feel in tone. So if I'm a, a buck 25 or I'm a buck 30, it's gonna be muscles inclusive. Like, so if I'm a buck 30, buck 35, that's gonna be like with my gains. Now granted, I know some women be 175, 180, and they don't even look it, but it's muscle weighs more than fat. But I know what my body sculpts out to at 125, 130. I'm naturally, I got chest already. If I round out my glutes and flatten my stomach, no matter how what weight I'm weighing in at, it's going to look right, you know? So, yeah. 175 is just a little too big for me. 179. So, we are now four pounds down. I'm excited. Every time you get up and you jump on that scale and you see that scale keeps going down, it literally, like, motivates you to keep going. So, right now, my goal for May, because today is May 17th, we will be in June in about two weeks, right? Takes 21 days to form positive habits, which is roughly three weeks. I went to the gym yesterday. I'm going to the gym today, and I'm gonna try to keep on making videos on like my body every day. That way I can go back and look 30 days from now, like dang girl, look at where you came. So yeah, I'm 175 today. I'm gonna go hit the Stairmaster, and I'm gonna go hit the treadmill. Let me make sure I can run, okay. Because yesterday I had on a bralette and the type of bralette I had on when I was running, like my boobies would not stay in place. Like, because it was a bralette, like it was a bra, but it was a bralette. It wasn't like a, I have on right now, I have on like my Gymshark bra. So the, I don't know if you guys, the ladies, if you rock, rock Gymshark, but Gymshark always has like good branding of stuff. Go, go, go. Okay, it's okay, because you're about to go in the crate anyway. Um, yeah, but I was like trying to do a full sprint and g gladly I had on like this long jacket so I was able to zip up the jacket and do it. But after one minute of doing that long run, I said we're going to have to walk the rest of this because I don't like how my boobs are not staying in place. And then I knew I needed to adjust the bras to tighten it, but I was in the gym. I didn't feel like, like it was crisscross. I didn't feel like going to the bathroom to do that. So I said, we're going to walk. And as I was walking, I was listening to some real estate podcast. Like I always say, if you want to be the greatest or you want to be great at what you do, you're going to have to indulge and immerse yourself in the things that have to do with you and your brand. So I was listening to the real estate podcast and I was like, I ran. And then after the bra situation, I said, I'm going to walk. The podcast was like 25 minutes. So... I, walk, I ended up walking a hundred, it was like a hundred and, it was a mile, and it was like a hundred something calories, like a hundred and five, a hundred and two, coming bricks, and then I finished the podcast on the Stairmaster, and then went into another podcast, and I told myself I'm going to do the Stairmaster, well I told myself I was going to do the treadmill for a mile, I wanted to do hit, so I wanted to run, walk, run, walk, get your butt out of this kitchen, get, go but it ended up just being walking and then i told myself when i got on the stairmaster we're gonna do 10 minutes to make up for the fact that i could not run the way i wanted to so today i'm gonna go to the stairmaster i'm going to strive to hit the goal of stop licking my leg and go i'm gonna strive to at least do a minimum 10 minutes on the stairmaster but i would like to go over 10 minutes so 10 minute one second 10 minute 15 minute, 20 minute, I want to go over that because the Stairmaster is a flat blaster. So if you incorporate the Stairmaster into your workouts, you are definitely going to notice some calorie burn. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to probably do my hit workouts and I might do the elliptical. I'm going to stay away from heavy lifting. Even though I know it helps and it, it gives me my muscle, I just explained to you that the objective for me right now is fat blasting. So I think by going back to the basics of making sure I'm drinking my water, I'm eating my greens, I'm not eating fast cooked or out foods as much. That in itself is about to probably shrink me a whole 10 to 20 pounds by itself. So then working out with it is probably gonna just help me get to a 20 pound loss faster. So if we're already four pounds down out of 20 pounds in two days, imagine where we can really be in two weeks if we stay consistent. So I'm praying for consistency. I'm gonna do what I need to do. 
Um, I'm about to put on some shoes and socks so I can get out of the door. Traffic is wicked. Um, okay, y'all. Look, so like I said, the traffic is real wicked right now. I'm not sure what's going on, but I need to get all the way over so I can head to the gym. But this is giving real tacky right now. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna get to the gym. I'm gonna do Stairmaster. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do elliptical, but I'm definitely gonna do Stairmaster and either Stairmaster and treadmill. What is going on up here? Those are the those are the workouts that I'm gonna be doing when I get to the gym. I was trying to give you guys an update. Traffic is crazy. Like, there's no way all y'all are entrepreneurs on the road. Like, I feel like people who work from home are not really working from home. My song coming on and I don't want no copyright issues, but I'm about to play this drink. Okay, hey y'all. So look, went to the gym. Y'all, let me tell you, my gym routine ain't. Cause let me tell you, whew, child, I'm still tired. I know went to the gas station, grabbed me a water while I was in the gas station, and I'm still follow up with her to start the process. I'll keep you updated when this is there. Oh, good afternoon. Thank you so much for the feedback. One of my clients rejected me now. Okay, um, so look, 
my lips keep getting dry. That might be why people keep staring at me. They're like, why does girl lips so dry? Baby, I was just in the, I was in the um, gym trying to get fine by tomorrow. So look, let me tell you, skinny by tomorrow, baby. Hmm. Let me tell you. So y'all know yesterday I did the Stairmaster, right? Yesterday I did the Stairmaster. I did the Stairmaster for 10 minutes. So today I said, we gonna do anything over 10 minutes, whether it's 10 minutes in a second, 10 minutes in a minute, it don't even matter. We gonna just do more than what we did yesterday. A girl, I went 21 minutes. I said, girl, first of all, I just felt, I was feeling like it takes 21 days to get back in routine and make and form good habits, right? This is day I went to the gym yesterday, I went to the gym today. Did I go to the gym today before? I don't think so, but I did go to the gym this week. It wasn't the day before, but it was this week. But I'm not gonna include that. My my um, gym routine and getting back into fitness routine started yesterday. That's what I'm deeming it as. That's what I'm putting my uh, start day as yesterday. So, went to the gym. Mind you, let's run back these numbers that we were talking about earlier. So. Yesterday, I woke up at 179 point something yesterday. I couldn't find the picture to put into the video that I posted today, but I literally remember, okay, I was 179 point something. So 179 started the morning off, detox, only had a smoothie bowl, basically like a, a yogurt bowl and coffee the entire day and water, of course. But then I went to the gym and I burned like, 100 about 200 calories yesterday in the gym so by the time i woke up yesterday i was 176 point oh wait 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 no wait the night the day before yesterday i was 179 i woke up the next day went to the gym because i didn't like how big i was 179 when i woke up that next day of uh, being one okay so the day that i went to sleep being 179 pounds i woke up the next day like i gotta go to the gym which was uh yesterday right all right i'm trying to put the i'm trying to put this in perspective because i woke up at 176 yesterday and the day before i was 179 and that's when i the day that i was 179 i was just like oh no we got to do something about this that's when i like barely like really ate anything like that but the next day i went to the gym and when i went to the gym that next day before i went to the gym that morning i woke up yesterday at 176.4 or whatever 0.2.4 whatever then this morning i woke up at 175.2 or 0.4 so that's how it was the day that I woke up 179, I went that whole day like, I cannot be eating bad, da 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 da, da. I need to detox. The next day I went to the gym, and that same day that I went to the gym, I was 176. I have to say it back because I'm trying to make it make sense. But that next day I woke up 176.4 or .2, and okay, yeah, yeah. So then I woke up this morning at 175.2.4. So technically, it's been a total of three days from having gone from 179 to 175 but not three days of fitness. It's been two days of fitness and I'm counting my fitness from the 179 weigh in, but I'm counting my actual fitness days as today and yesterday. Cause those are the two days that I went to the gym. I want to strive to go to the gym about three or four times out the week. And even if it's not the gym, I want to strive to work out. Eventually I want to incorporate Pilates and all of those different workouts. And I used to do um, Zuma, back in the day but I don't think they really do Zumba y'all look at my delectable smoothie bowl that I just made at home I just came back from the gym I'm about to talk about my gym experience but blueberries strawberries um, protein oats peanut butter topped on top with a base of two cups of non-dairy yogurt so Bricks is eating his food because he had just a, a tinge of peanut butter put on top of his pebbles to make him eat his food. And yeah, but please look at this baby. Please look at it because it looks great. Anyway, y'all. So like I was saying in the car, I went to the gym. Your girl is feeling so good. My lips was dry at the gas station. I think that's why. It's like this guy kept staring at me. And he probably was staring because my lips kept getting dry. I'm like, baby, I'm thirsty. Literally, not for you, but for some water. That's why I'm about to buy some. Cause your girl's dehydrated. Oh, and by the way, this is my skin. 
it's coming back to what it needs to come back to post the gym but yes girl when i tell you this smoothie bowl looks like heaven oh my goodness oh my goodness oh delectable um yes yeah, so my gym workout was quite a workout loved it so i did 21 minutes on the stairmaster like i said so i burned 200 i think it was 205 200 plus calories on the stairmaster for 21 minutes and then i did on and off run walk run walk on the stairmaster i mean on the treadmill so i did a total of and that was for five minutes mm. I think I went up to five minutes. Yes, five minutes and it was a half a mile. So I, and that was like 50 calories or something. So get over here, Bricks, and get away from my shoes. So I did a total of 26 minutes on the treadmill. So I would say for my time to come into the gym, scan, get on my equipment, to my time to leaving the gym, getting in the car, it was probably all of 30 minutes with workouts included. So your girl is feeling good. I know tomorrow that scale has to go down because if it doesn't, I don't know what to say. So the yogurts that I just had, let me go check the calorie servings on them and let me tell y'all if I was in a deficit or a surplus or whatever. Go! <clears throat> okay, so the non-dairy yogurts that I had were these um, plant-based ones and they're dairy-free and they were strawberry and they have 130 calories per serving one cup is a serving i had two so that means that i haven't eaten it yet but that's 260 60 calories mind you before i left i had 100 like 115 calories worth of a protein drink and then my blueberries and strawberries It doesn't tell me the calorie counts on my blueberries and strawberries, but I had blueberries, strawberries, and then I had like one serving of peanut butter, which maybe two. It says two tablespoons. No, I probably had a tablespoon. It says 190 calories per whatever. Okay, get out of the kitchen. So 200. So 115, 200, that's about 315. What well, was 190 is that per tablespoon? So we're just gonna round up. So let's just say 200, instead of saying 115 calories for our protein drinks, we're gonna say 100 calories. And then we're gonna say two, mm, let's just say 115. Then we're gonna say 200 calories from the yogurt, which is 315. Get out of the kitchen, go. And then the peanut butter, the fruits, and all of that stuff. We're gonna say 200. So 315, 200, that's 515. I burned 200 on the treadmill, I mean 200 on the machine and then like 50. Yeah, so I burned 200 calories plus 50, that's 250. And I, of course like walking, regular walking, walking to the gym, walking away from the gym, walking to the um, trash can to throw away my trash, that type of stuff, you're getting your steps in, so you're burning more calories that you can count in a day. So I've already burnt a good amount of calories today. Yeah, the storage keeps filling up, y'all, but it's 350 right now. Your girl feels real good. I told y'all I went to the gym yesterday. Get out of the kitchen and go. So I've had a productive day. One of my clients texted me while I was in the car, as I told you guys. Um, so, yeah, so at the end of the day, that worked out. I have to get this photo. gonna get this photo again of my bowl before I like eat it because once it's gone it's it's freaking gone okay 
It's not gonna be as pretty anymore once it's gone. Oh, this looks so pretty. Oh, good. <clears throat> I like that angle, but I feel like I need to get it from another angle. Bricks, please go. Dang, you be whining about stuff you're not getting. I don't understand that. Cut it out. Hold on, y'all. He's already had him a little portion of a bowl I made for him. And now he's whining because I haven't eaten mine and he wants mine. No. Mm -mm. You don't want who was rushing into goodness. No. Mm. Don't work like that. This looks so freaking good, y'all. Like, look. Ah. It looks so good. Like, it's so good. I'm going to do a video. Okay, well I saved it. Picture looks really good. Now I wanna enjoy it. I'm still trying to take pictures. It just looks so good. I don't think y'all understand how good this bowl looks. Okay, I think I got enough pictures. Anyway, yeah, my client ended up texting me that she's gonna be following up soon. Um, and then I talked to another client today. It's four o'clock. I just need to sit down. I think I'm about to eat my smoothie bowl and watch like a little bit of TV because I really don't watch TV that much. And maybe just jump on my laptop in a little bit. I need to upload this video. So maybe I will end the vlog now. I'm not gonna vlog what I'm doing later just because it's like, I could, but this is kind of pointless. I really went in on this water in the gym, y'all. It's like gone. And I picked up another water while I was in the gas station. I'm not playing, I'm trying to get big fun. Um, it's something I was looking for. Oh, I think it's in my room. I was looking for the, so that I can upload the video, but I think I left it in the room. Yeah, I did. So I'm gonna just charge my phone, maybe jump on the computer, watch a little bit of TV, drink some more water. I'm gonna take this water so I can keep track. Cause this water bottle, I don't remember how many ounces this one is. Let's see, 20? This one's 20 fluid ounces. This is 50.7 fluid ounces. So together that's 70 fluid ounces. If I drink both of these, by the time I go shoot pool, if I decide to shoot pool, then I'm gonna end up drinking another half a gallon. And by the time I drink another half a gallon, then we add a gallon for the day. See y'all in a little bit. Or I'll see y'all in the next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe.